Hey guys, welcome to Lost Sphere. Um, just starting out. Uh, I don't know how long this is gonna be, or if I'll be playing the entire thing. Um, this is an RPG, so I'm gonna go with normal, because hard usually just means. Oh, play forces, yes. Yeah, usually the higher difficulty just means more bullet sponges, so I don't really like that. Oh, I thought I was gonna voice everything. So, Your Highness, I'm finished. Forgive me. I will not allow it. You swore you would stay with me to the end. I command you to live. Forgive. So you are resolved to stand in my way, are you? Don't you see why? Why this is no time for us to be fighting. Oh, so I get to I guess I'll try full. Oh, I like how this game looks. But is this game like active for the enemy? Because it's moving around and stuff. But I can't move my character. That's kind of weird. When did we go wrong with this world of ours? Where was the wrong turn we took? However, I will never give up. Whoa, I can turn to a robot too? Even if it is my downfall, I will not surrender. Okay, Still, you seek battle in spite of where it would lead. So it seems I didn't make it in time. It is all fading. Everything is fleeing from Why? Oh Moon, please tell me. Why did it have to turn out like this? Legends say the moon created the world. I heard that fairy tale a long time, long, long time ago. My mother was still alive then. It said the world is destroyed repeatedly before it's reborn. I still remember it, that picture of the moon in my storybook. So big, so cold, beautiful, and terrifying. But that was just a fairy tale. The truth is the moon is silent, it doesn't do anything. And that's the way it's always been. Why? Why do I keep having that dream? Kanata, are you in here? Are you here? Oh, I can move. Ether times three. Uh... Oh, there you are. I'm glad I found you. What's up, Lumina? Weren't you supposed to be helping out at the elders? 
Yeah, I am. But she's asking for all of us to come. You, me, and Luck. So where's Luck? Didn't you tell him yet? I was looking for him, but I couldn't find him. That's why I came to see you. The elders at her house lay on the other side of town. If only she lived a little closer. Oh, I can move. Uh, I didn't know. Okay, so there's a moon memory? Oh. English message for you. Let's go with fast. Uh... Let's see, semi-active, active memory, commands all actions, yeah, I don't know. Okay. Pretty standard stuff for config. Oh, by the way, if you forget what to do next, press R1, but R1 button, I'll help you figure it out. Press R and button while traveling to start your party chat. In party chat, you can enjoy casual conversation between Kanata and his companions. You can also get some info about where to go if you're feeling lost. Remember to use it if you need help on your journey. And once in a while, let's just relax and have a nice chat, okay? Did you just wake up, you know, you really shouldn't sleep until mid day. What's that supposed to mean? I thought she was supposed to help. I'm so, so sleepy still. I guess everybody has days like this now and then. Now and again. Oh, it's Lumina and Kanada. Are you two going to the, off to the Elder's house? Yes? No? I don't know. Oh, hey there, Biba. Yeah, we were just about to head over there. Is it because of what everyone's saying? Some people think monsters may have snuck into town. I'm so scared. Out here, we can't count on the Imperial Command for it. help. We've got to rely on you, young people. Can I have a sword skill and the brute strength of Illumina? Brute strength, huh? You really shouldn't count on a girl for that. Well, she's right about the brute part. We're gonna have a nice long chat later. Probably not gonna read out like non-important stuff just so I don't exert my voice too much. Uh, my back and my knees are aching something awful. The weather is nice now, but I don't think it'll hold up. Uh, what? That's so random. Why does a random NPC talk to me? Is this the elder's house? Doesn't look like it. Yo, Kanada, I see you're with Lumina again today. What's up with these random NPCs? They're just halting me while I'm walking around. Okay, I'm guessing the Elder probably isn't this way? We've gone everywhere and I don't see the Elder's house. Unless it's... Nope. Unless this is it? Definitely doesn't look like it. Okay, so maybe the other side then? This is the inn. Maybe this is the elder's house. I don't know where the elder's house is.
Okay, so I look for it at the left and then the right, and I can't go out from the south. There was like weird people talking to me when I was here. Does that mean the elder's house is this one? But this is the house with the kids, and this the elder is this lady? Oh, it is. Oh, Kanata and Lumina, thank you for coming. You probably heard when someone said they saw monsters in town. Monsters are always around, but I'd like to just still like you to check it out. Oh, make sure you ring the alarm bell and warn the villagers first. Can you do that for me? Sure, you can count on us. Huh? Isn't Locke with you? What? He came here earlier, so I don't know about the monsters, but I never heard the alarm bell, so I assumed he went to get you two first. It's been a while now, though. I hope nothing's happened to him. If we find him along the way, we'll be sure to bring him back here with us. Locke needs to apologize for worrying you. Alright, we'll go ring that alarm bell and look for the monsters now. Thank you. Say, Lumina? Yes? Don't be too rough on Locke, okay? You're practically family you should be kind to each other. What? I'm not that scary, am I? Okay, I promise not to hit him. Uh, I'm guessing the alarm bell is that giant bell I just rang, so uh, I think I know where to go. Uh, so far, I think I kind of like I, I like the uh, the characters, like the animations, I guess. Luck. Look, what's wrong? Are you okay? What do we do, Kanata? Do you think the monsters... Lumina, is that you? He's alive! Don't get up, Locke. I'll go get the Elder. Huh? What for? Didn't you know? When I'm really hungry, I just kind of collapse. Ha ha ha. Hey, it's not funny. Well, it was no ordinary hunger, I tell you. I was gonna go ring that bell. Ring the bell. But then, on the way, I saw something that looked like a monster. Of course, I tried my best to catch it. But I was too hungry and I just collapsed. But anyway, I think the monster is still probably. St the monster is probably still hiding somewhere in town. Next time, say that part first. Now we really gotta ring that alarm bell. Lock, join your party. There, that's done. Good, now to find that monster. Let's get this over it. I'm like way beyond hungry now. There it is, the monster. I guess we didn't look need uh, need to look too hard. Do you think the bell scared it out of hiding? Just one Mori? Those are nothing. You see those all the time in Huskrove. What? Are you kidding me? Don't understand Moris. Those things have freaked me out ever since I got bit by one as a kid. Well, everyone's, everybody's got something they're afraid of, right? Yeah. What? It died in one hit? Okay, problem solved. Thanks, everybody. You really saved me. I'm glad that's all it was. Let's go tell the Elder. Elder Fela, we gave the bell a really good ring for you. The bell wasn't the point. But anyway, we got rid of the monster. Nothing to worry about anymore. Everything's all taken care of. Now let's eat. I'm dying here. Oh dear, what should I do? I got so wrapped up with monsters, I totally forgot to cook anything. What? But my stomach is growling like crazy. I want Elder Fela's combed cooked food. I want her, I want her, I want her. Oh dear. 
Okay, how about we catch some fish and then you can cook them up? Oh yeah, great idea, Kanata. I saw a huge fish in the spring in the woods. Let's go for it. Oh boy, are you serious? Okay, I'll get ready to cook some fish then. Just don't get into any trouble. Alright, you got it. This kind of reminds me of like those. Oh, Kanada, Slavina. What? Am I supposed to talk to him? Stop sniffle. What's wrong? My my toy it turned white and disappeared. White? Mm, do you think maybe you just lost it? I didn't lose it. It just disappeared. You probably just left it somewhere, don't you think? I do that all the time. Don't worry. If we find out, I'll bring it back to you right away. Yeah. I mean. I, I like this game so far. It feels like those classic RPGs. Kanata Lumina, first one there gets the big fish. See us, little pokes, time to test my skills. Hey, Locke, wait for us. He's gone. Man, that kid really wants to catch a fish, alright. Locke Neffler party. Oh, yeah, this is totally like Chrono Cross style. No, I, I meant Chrono Trigger? Cross is the sequel. I meant the first game, Chrono Trigger. The open world... Oh, does that mean there's going to be random encounters? Or... No. I don't even know where I'm supposed to go. Where am I supposed to go? I guess this looks like a place where you can enter, so I guess here? Moon Ridge? What's this? Save data? Yes, let's save. Save. And then we'll collect some stuff. Man, I don't know. This game doesn't have a lot of, like, indicators on where I need to go. And I, I'm really bad at these type of games that don't have any kind of pointers. Uh, just because, like, I, I can't figure things out without a pointer. Because it just gets really confusing and wastes a lot of time. So, so far, I, I think I kind of like the aesthetics and all that stuff, but... The lack of the modern quality of life enhancement where you have a pointing arrow pointing you everywhere and a log for you to reference thing, I don't know if I'm going to be able to beat this. Uh, mainly just because it's going to take me way too much time and there's always like new stuff that I want to play. This is on PS Plus Extra, which I am trying out, um, so... Yeah, I just don't know where I'm supposed to go. Yeah, but I mean, this isn't the kind of game that I would probably buy to try normally. Uh, and it's not because I don't like JRPGs, it's just I don't... I've kind of like... I should go. <clears throat> I've kind of like grown out of this type of style of RPGs in general. Uh, mainly because I prefer like a 3D world nowadays, so... I'm giving this a shot because I do enjoy JRPGs, it's just I like the... The modernized ones, so like Atelier, uh, Xenoblade, uh, Persona, and all that. I don't like the top-down isometric styles anymore, and this is kind of like that. Uh, mainly just because it doesn't show as much of the world as I'd like. And like even, like I'm sure they had like character expressions when they were doing the emoticons, but I can't see it because it was at an angle that's like not horizontal, so. And those are the tiny little things that affect my decision when I buy, purchase, or play a game. But I like the sound. The soundtrack is really nice. It's very calming. Hushgrove, there we go. Uh, I can't say I was a huge fan of the combat trial that they let you like test out. It's very simple, um, so. And then there's also like that thing that's like uh, trails of uh, code, code steel, where they have like those 
area of effect kind of things which affect a certain area depending on how the enemy moves. Yep, save points already saved. Let's make sure we keep a good record of our journey. Yeah. Well, I really did like the the little area thing because it adds some tactical stuff to it. But this game feels like a little bit too simple, mainly because it is an indie game. So, I mean, I get it. But if I only have so much time, I'd pick the Falcom one. Whoa, we're finally here. Oh, huh? where's Locke? That's weird. He was so fired up, maybe he lost his way? I wonder if he found a new spot. Well, let's just guard it without him. Catch that big one, Kanata. How to fish. Press X near a sign and then you can fish. Uh, when your line hooks a fish, press X to reel it. But yeah, so like, I, I like the little circle things that the game offers because it adds a la an additional layer to the game. It's not just like point and click and then that's it. It also adds that strategy, strategic kind of play, uh, enemy placement and then when to use which ability. That's really cool. Never felt one like this before. Oh, I think I got something. It's locked. Pops, but there will. Thanks for the saves, Kanata. What the? What do you think you're doing, Locke? Well, I realized I forgot to bring my fishing rod. So here's what happened. I saw this huge fish in the spring. Just when I was wondering what to do, my heart spoke to me. You can do it, it said. You can catch it with your bare hands. But of course, I couldn't. If you hadn't fished me out, Kanata, I would have been in big trouble. What can I say? I messed up. You can say that again. Seriously, be careful, can I don't really save your bacon, you know? I'm sorry, I tell you what, you can have the fish I caught in my mouth. Blah, no thanks. Oh, come on, just wash it and it'll be fine. Yeah, can I have the right idea? Well, anyway, we got a fish, so let's go back to the Elder's place. Locke rejoined your party. Okay. Yeah. Uh, one of the reasons I really like the little area things in the RPG is just because it adds a additional layer of combat and I think one of the ones that I liked the most was like Grandia 2 I believe which was on Dreamcast and I really liked that stop what's wrong Maurice oh man not now what do we do Kanata don't think we have much choice are you two in these skulls are brand new I've been waiting to break them up and I'm gonna get upstage. I'm not gonna get upstage by a brainless brute like Lumina. Hey, who are you calling a brainless brute? Come on, you two. Quit messing around and focus. Uh, after selecting an action to take, you may move the character freely. You can move the red attack area using the right stick and confirm the action with the X. Wait. Oh, what the? Each character's attack area is different. Some attacks may even hit multiple enemies when positioned correctly. Get a good grasp of each character's attack area to fare better in battle. Yeah. Okay, this is really cool. I wasn't expecting to be able to like place the character like that. So I can technically hit two enemies, right? Yeah. Lumina, knock, are you hurt? I'll find here. Piece of cake. Ew, okay, let's get back to town. Okay, that's really cool. I didn't think it would let me move around like that. Wait, more stuff to fight? Yeah, what, what's this? Kanada, I've never seen a monster like this before. What's it doing here? But there's no use thinking about it, I guess. Let's just try to break past it. Yeah. 
encounter. I guess I can use skills now, or no? Uh, momentum mode. Each character's momentum seen around their portrait increases during combat. When a character's momentum reaches 100%, they will earn a momentum charge. With at least one MC indicated by the blue circle, blue flash was seen during a character's attack. Press square at that moment to activate momentum mode. Oh, why couldn't it tell me like that? Extra attack? Oh, okay, I see. Activating momentum mode in, uh, during an attack inflicts increased damage. Each character can only have three momentum charges, so don't forget to activate momentum mode often. Does it carry over to other combat stuff? What's going on? Is that the bell? Oh no, could it be more monsters in town? Hey, speaking of town, is that white smoke or am I, my eyes playing tricks on me? No, I see it too. It does look like smoke. This can't be good. It reminds me of when my mom disappeared. Uh-oh, what could it mean? Kanata, I'm scared. Let's hurry back. Darn it, after this, I though, I better get something to eat. Whoa, there's lots of smoke. What's all this? Everything's turned white. Yeah, no kidding. Huh? The bell stopped ringing. Wait, the town disappeared. The town's gone. What's going on? This this is our town, right? We didn't take the wrong road, did we? No, this is how Garfield, right? So then where is everybody? How could this be? Hey, who's that? I've never seen him before. Hey, you! What happened here? Did you see anything? I know you can hear me. Answer me. Shut it, run. What? Who are you calling run? La, come down. Sorry about my friend. Um, well, you see, this is our town, but we have no idea how it got like this. If you know anything, could you t please tell us? I don't know anything. Although, this isn't the first time I've seen this phenomenon. Really? You know what it is, then? Will the town be okay? I have no idea. But you just said you... I said I saw this phenomenon before, that's all. I never said I could explain it. Oh, right, sorry. Hey, Kanata, what should we do? I don't have any ideas. Kanata? Could you be... You said you have no idea how this happened. No idea. Everything was normal when we left town. Huh? What's with you all of a sudden? Oops. Damn. If you don't know anything, fine. Sorry for bugging you. Kanata, Lumina, let's go. We gotta figure out what's going on. We don't have anywhere to go home. Uh, go home to. There's nothing to figure out. Can't you see? Everybody in town is gone. Lumina. Wait a minute. Everybody in town, right? That's it. We were in the forest, outside of town, so we were saved. Hey, you're right. Maybe there are others beside us who were outside town, like maybe on Moon Ridge to the southeast. There's a hut there for storing firewood, right? You can see Elgar from there. So if somebody is out there, maybe they saw what happened. Let's go check it out to Moon Ridge. 
Hey, don't follow us. You're going to the hut nearby, right? I was going to hole up somewhere in town, but as you can see, that's not going to happen. I think I'd better go to the hut with you guys. Fine, do what you like, but we don't have any food or anything. What? He disappeared. Hey, this is the hut. I came here earlier. Oh man, this this game is pretty charming. I'm starting to like it, even though I thought I kind of grew out of this type of RPG. But I guess if a game's good, I'll pull you in, right? Oh, you can appear from out of thin air. That's so cool. Nobody here. Darn. All the towns are turning white. The elder and everybody just gone. I'm really scared. Is it going to stay like this forever? <clears throat> it's too early to say. Let's just take a look around. Maybe we'll see something we overlooked before. How about you take the break and try to think a bit more clearly? Just leave us alone. How could we take a break at a time like this? That's right. The town's all white. And my stomach's still rumbling. Hmm. Maybe it's your stomach that needs to take a break. Lock you. Ugh, I can't help it. I've passed my hunger threshold. You may be right. It's too easy to miss stuff when you're tired. Let's get some rest. Yawn. Man, now you've done it. Now I really feel like I need to sleep. Oh boy, not just hungry, but sleepy now too. That's luck for you. Sleep is good. It's not as if staying awake will change anything. We'll need to be rested in case we run into an emergency. Yeah, I guess you're right. Okay, sleep tight. Huh? Asleep already? I can't, <clears throat> I can't believe him. I'll be up for a while, so you should rest too, Lumina. I'll rest a little when you wake up. As long as one of us is awake, we should be okay. You ought to get some sleep too. <laughs> Where am I? Young man. I always see you when I'm dreaming, so I must be dreaming now. But this is different. You're all hazy and white, just like our town. Young man, you have a mysterious gift. I'm lost that you have the power to speak with me. Lost? In this universe, everything is made from Sprite Knight. Or Spr Sprite Knight? Sprite Knight? You and I are made from the same components that form our world, Gaitera. But when memories are stripped from Sprite Knight, as minds were from me, the matter that remains became becomes lost. Without memories to retain its shape, that which is lost eventually disappears forever. I know not how I could be here, nor how we can speak in this place, but you wield a power unknown to me. Hold on, what did you say about memories? Without memories, matter fades to nothingness. And you say I have some sort of power. Restore my memories. I believe that will to be the reason why we are here. Restore your memories? How would I even go about doing that? I don't even know your name. Press and hold square when the framed text is displayed to create a memory. What? Everything that exists has memories. I was a king! King memory... Is this a memory? That truly is a mysterious gift. Restore me. Restore my memory. This is my memory, your memory? Your memory is full of feelings of anger and regret. Would that I could change what has passed, please help me. Press the X button near objects that look hazy to restore them. Hazy? King memory. What is this? Who are you anyway? 
Why are you appearing to me? You are hope. I'm hope. What do you want from me? Kanata, are you okay? You sure are something, Kanata. How can you sleep so deeply in a place like this? Well, at least he doesn't snore and row around like you do. He said something about restoring memories. It must have been a dream nobody around here said anything like that. Forget it. I guess it was nothing. Anyway, let's search this area again. If we don't find anything, we can come up with another plan. Sounds pretty random, but I don't have any better ideas. What about you? You coming with us? <laughs> what a pain you are. Let's get started, Kanata. Yeah. Locker's right, we need to act. Let's go, everybody. Hey, that block, big flower wasn't here when we came this way before, was it? Ew, what is that thing? Gross, I've never seen it before. Where did it come from? Lots of monsters showed up as soon as the town disappeared. Everybody, stay sharp. I'll help. I don't want you dying just yet. Huh? Are you kidding? We're seriously gonna fight that thing? Seriously? Just stay focused. That did so much damage. Flower key. Saved us, thanks. Van. Huh? That's my name. For now, helping you out serves my own purposes. You're looking for people, right? I'll help. You shouldn't object to that. Thanks, I'm Kanata. We don't know what's going on, so any help you can give us is appreciated. Sorry about before, I'm Lumina. Nice to meet you. The name's Locke. You're good in a fight. And those, um, weapons? They're pretty damn cool. Listen, I know I'm the youngest one here, and I'm pretty... 
I know I'm the youngest one here and I'm pretty small, but don't call me Run, okay? I'm gonna hit my growth spurt any day now. Um, what what's funny here is that I actually didn't press anything and it skipped over this part completely by itself. By the way, don't you have any skill spurt knight to use in battle? Uh, no. The monsters here around here never used to be strong enough. Do you need any? Hmm. Yeah. Way out here in the country, I imagine not. Well, I can't have you this useless in battle. It puts so much pressure on me. I'll give you some Sprint Knight that even you can handle. Good, now you're really starting to make me mad. But as long as you're handing out free stuff, I guess I can forgive you. I got a big heart. Thanks, we'll put in the Sprite Knight to good stuff. Sprint Knight. Uh, equip skill, Sprint Knight to use skills, special attacks. Effects that use MP, skill Sprint Knight can be equipped and removed freely. But if you remove Sprint Knight, skill cannot be used. Oh, so this is what it's like when you equip it, huh? That shiny thing, what is that? Did that monster drop it? This thing. It's like what I saw in my dreams. Is it a memory so they really do exist? And this feeling, so warm and gentle like going home. For some reason, this stone makes me think of our home, Elgarth. Is this a memory? This is a memory? Could this somehow bring the town back? What is it, Kanana? Everybody, let's go back to Elgarth. Ben joined your party. You know, this story is actually kind of interesting. It's essentially saying, like, you're... Something exists because someone remember it, remembers it, and if nobody remembers it, then that person might... Like, that thing might not exist. And that's actually kind of true. Like, historical figures exist because people recorded their stories, but... If the people whose stories weren't recorded, then it's like they never existed. And I think that's really what it's trying to get at here. A pretty interesting take and in using that kind of ideology as a storyline. I like that. What's with you all of a sudden, Kanata? Elgar, Verdant, Memory... Boom. What? No way, it can't be. What what did you do just now? I used the stone we found. It's just it just melted away in my hand. You mean you brought the town back just with just one of those strange glowing stones? Yeah, I had a weird dream in that hut on Moonridge. There was a man all hazy and white just like the town. He told me I had a power that could restore his memory. I didn't understand him until he told me he was a king. When he said that, I could feel his anger and regret. I concentrated on those feelings and a stone materialized in my hand. What are you talking about? You can turn feelings into stones? What does that even mean? The man called it a memory and said that without it, he would be lost. So without a memory, you would be lost? I don't know. All I know is that I was able to use a stone to bring back the town just like I did for the man in my dream. I can hardly believe it. Man, a dream like that would just leave me scratching my head. It's a good thing you had a Kanata, not me. But where's the rest of the town? Only about half of it came back. I... well, I think that... Lumina, Kanata, and Lochte, too. Elder. So you're all safe, but what on earth is going on? Well, we'll tell her everything we know, and I don't know if she's going to believe it. That's for sure. 
And that's about all we know so far. I'm sorry, Kanata. It's not that I don't believe you, it's just hard for a simple old woman like me to understand. Nah, that's only natural. You're hearing all of this out of blue, after all. All I know is that we can bring the town back, but we need more memories. It's clear what you need to do, then. If that dream you had was true, then really, you really can make the memory, make memories yourself. Make them myself, huh? But how would I make a town's memories? You need feelings. What's that, Locke? I've got all kinds of feelings. What's wrong with trying mine? I fi I'm filled with thanks and prayers for all my ancestors. Really? I highly doubt it. All he ever thinks about is eating and messing around. Lumina, you jerk. The memory the monster left behind didn't feel like it came from just one person. I think we'll need more memories like those. How can a single memory be from more than one person's feelings? Hey, Locke, this conversation will probably go over your head. Why don't you grab a pillow, find a nice place to lap, nap, and dream of some food? What? Hey, quit trying to pick a fight. No, I think you're on the right track there, Van. I am? The man in my dream told me that everything is made of both matter and memories. What are you driving at? The memory of the town must have come from something or some place that was full of feelings. Maybe feelings that can be found in objects and places somehow. What? So now we have to look for objects that have feelings about Oh Garth. Sorry, not just objects, but places too. Places, right? Could that be true? Kanata. What is it, Elder? I'm not sure I understand all this, but if you want a place that may be full of feelings about Elgarth, there's the monument in the ancient ruins of Murfolk belonging to the Silver Mountains. What do you think? Great idea, the monument. A monument? Yeah, it's the place that first, that's very special to the people of Elgarth. I bet I could use the feelings there to create a memory. Of course, the people of Elgarth go there all the time to give thanks. Just like our ancestors used to, too. Okay, let's get going then to Merfil the Ancient Ruins. Thank you, Elder. I promise we'll bring the town back. I'm pretty sure I know which one they're talking about. Is that big brown thing that looks like a, a wood tree or something like that? Ancient Ruins, yeah. ちゅうちゅうして、一気に突破する。いや、いる。え。負けてられん。僕の番だね。てい。負けてられん。行け。Okay, I'm not a huge fan of how slow this is, so I think I'm going to change the combat over to uh, active, and then that should make things happen even while I'm like waiting for the animation or something like that. Let's see. Uh, active, I'll take, well, continue move during selections, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think that should be, that should make the gameplay faster, and I think I'll probably enjoy it more. Okay, let's see, let's see. So, yeah. Wow, it's moving even though I'm like... Selecting stuff, so... That's definitely faster and different. Yeah, definitely faster though, which is a good thing. I wish there was like a, a times two speed or times three speed kind of thing too. Mainly because I think the game's pacing is a little bit slow, but at least it's. I, I think the story is actually kind of cool. 
And then there's also like a little bit of comedy like stuck into it, so I guess that's good. I, I enjoy that kind of interaction. So that's nice. <laughs> そのよし。さあ。Oh, I got an auto bow. Let's see. Oh, nature roll. That's cool. Auto bow. Wow, it's much stronger. Choose, choose. Empty strike. Brilliant strategist. Yep, that's me. A new slot. Slot for what? Skills? Yeah, whatever. Where am I supposed to go? This doesn't seem like the right place. Wow, there's six, six mobs there. Snipe, boom. New slots for everyone. That's good. That's good. Oops. I was gonna save on top of that one. What the? You people call this a little ornament a stone monument? Stone? Does this look like stone to you? I don't think monsters would bring in an or ornament, so that means... I knew it! We won't let you rest with our ancestors' runes. We just want to bring the town back. Stay out of our way. Punch. Oh, I should probably move them apart. Yeah, 
Momentum kill. Nice. Touch the matter. Wake ni wa ikanai kara ne. Meki. Ew. Doesn't look like momentum monument here was hard. Is this the monument you were talking about? Yeah, this is where we venerate our ancestors who built the town of Elgar. And this monument must be filled with all kinds of feelings about Elgarth. Come on, kind of time to do your thing. Uh, we call this land Elgarth. May it stand forever for our uh, descendants. Founder memory acquired. There, that went well. It did? Do you think it'll work? I bet it will. No, I mean it has to work. Let's hurry back and try. Oh. I was hoping there was like a way to like fast travel out of the map, but it doesn't seem like it. I can't even open this door. What? No way. I have to walk all the way out? には見切らせないよ。続いてガンガン行くわよ。絶対外さない。負けてられん。打ち抜けないものはない。ま、こんなものだ。Wait, is this another memory? Artisan memory. Oh. Okay, guess I have to slowly walk all the way out. Get back up there, so how do I get out?
Oh, okay, I have to press this. Oh, I didn't see that. Did they add that afterwards, or... Oh, whatever. Found my way out. There are soldiers here now. That's weird. And the Imperial Commandant, so many of them. Awesome, they must have come to save Elgarf. Stay back, identify yourselves. Hey, hey, relax, we're from this town. We're on an important mission, please let us pass. No one enters. Those are our orders. But we get back immediately. Defy the Imperial Commandant at your peril. Hey, you, don't touch Kanada. Law. Leave this part to me. Go on, Kanata. Go and do your thing. Halt! Don't move another inch. Please work, please. did it, Kanata. You're amazing. It can't be what just happened. Impossible. He brought the town back from its lost state. It must be some kind of sorcery. How did you do that? Confess or prepare to die. That's enough. Commander Galdra, my apologies, they seem suspicious, so I merely fought to interrogate them. I understand. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, I wouldn't have believed it in you. But the Imperial Command must speak with courtesy at all times, no? Yes, forgive me. Now step back, I'll deal with these folks. I offer my deepest apologies for my soldier's rudeness. That's okay, thank you for helping us. But what's the Imperial Command doing in Agarf? Does it have something to do with the town disappearing? Our mission is secret, so I dare not say much, but the entire Empire has been plagued by this phenomenon of things becoming lost. We were sent to investigate, and that's when we found this lost town. Lost? So that's what you call it when things turn white and disappear? And this is happening in other places, too. Your name is Kanada, yes? I've seen this mysterious power that you have. In truth, I don't understand how you did it. But it's a fact that you restored the town from its lost state. If possible, I'd like to ask for your help. Will you aid the Empire? There are so many suffering from the same plague that struck your town. Will you help them before it's too late? Wow, crazy. A leader of the Imperial Command bowing down to us. I can't believe it. Well, if Kanata doesn't mind, it's okay with me. My dad was in the Imperial Command too, a long time ago. He's gone to heaven now, but I just know he'd yell at me from up there if I said no. Besides, I've always wanted to see the place where he worked with my own eyes. And you? What do you think? Honestly, I don't even know myself how I brought the town back from being lost. It was a struggle just to bring back my own town. So I really don't know what kind of help I can be to other people. But I do know this. The despair of losing what you love, and the hope of bringing it back. And I don't know why, but it looks like I've been entrusted with that hope. If my power can fight despair with hope, then I want to know why I've been given this power. No, I have to know. If my journey to discover myself can bring some hope to others, then that's what I want to do. And so I'll go. Then I'll go too. Huh? You'll come with us. That a problem? Sounds good to me. You're a great fighter fan, even if you do tick me off now and then. Thank you all. I'm in your debt. We'll contact your parents so they don't worry. Hmm? 
What's wrong? Well, it's just we don't have parents. I see. But you must have other family. Elder. Everybody. I'm Gaudra, chief in command of the Empire's forces. The world is in deep peril. In order to save it, we need the help of your family members here. Kanada, Lumina, Locke. I always knew in my heart that you would leave on a journey one day, but I never imagined the parting would be so sudden and so painful. Commander Galdra, I beg of you, please, make sure my children stay safe. I swear to protect them with my very life and thank you. Elder, everybody, we'll be back. Be careful, we'll be here. The whole town and I will be waiting for your safe return. Now then, first let us head for Minstrel's Gorge. It's just north of here, but I don't suppose I need to tell you that. Okay, we'll head for Mistral Grove. The rest of the Empire and the glorious Imperial Capital is waiting on the other side. Commander, I have ur an urgent message. It's from the squad investigating outside town. The Gorge. It's become lost. What did you say? Then we can't return to the Imperial Capital. I'm calling off the investigation. Send word to gather at base camp immediately. Yes, right away. Hmm. But there's still hope. Hanada, can you use your power to help us? I don't really know, but I'll try. That's the spirit, Kanada. Now, let's get to Mr. Gorge. Come on, everybody. Okay, so this start is really reminding me of like Final Fantasy 3, I believe. Everyone's an orphan, and then all of a sudden you're all like going out on a giant quest to save the world. And that's what Final Fantasy 3 was, I think. I'm pretty sure. So this game has a lot of homage to like old classical RPGs. The story is kind of cliche, I guess. Um, I do like the memory thing because it makes a lot of sense. Like, you forget about stuff, it's no longer there. It doesn't exist. So, having something that's tied into someone's memory makes a lot of sense and it's a really cool take on the existence of things. And so, that's really interesting. Uh, I can't explain it, but it's a strange force. It hasn't been lost. There's something else going on with this place. I feel like something really big could happen if I use memories here. Why don't you give that memory thing a try and see what happens anyways? Okay. What? I can't pull any memory from here though. Oh, there it is. Mystic Eye ruins Earth Tree Memory. Oh, Wow, it cleared out so much of the world. I did it! Back in Elgarf, I could only restore things that were lost, but here, my mind is flooded with all kinds of images, and I feel like I can create anything. This skill of yours is really something. It's quite astonishing. Hey, don't you think the lay of the land looks clearer, since Kanata made that artifact? Huh? What the heck is an artifact? On the world map, you'll find lost points which appear as isolated white areas that need to be restored. Use memories at lost points to create relics known as artifacts. Artifacts can be used to change the rules of battle or influence the course of adventures. Artifacts can be created at the same point any number of times. Create artifacts and restore lost points to gain advantages in your adventure. Huh? What did you say just now, Locke? Me? Lumina, you were the one who said artifact right now. Just now, right, Canada? What? Yeah, I guess. Hmm, artifacts, huh? I guess that's a good name, as good a name as, uh, as good a name for them as any other. No, guys, what I'm trying to tell you is... Look, the landscape has returned, even the gorge. Let's head back to the capital without delay. Oh, I can see a mini map now, and it highlights all of the places I've been to. That's really cool. That's nice. A 
Across the gorge lies Watt, the capital of the Empire of Giganti. In a winger, it's only a second's ride away, but unfortunately my winger is out of commission at the moment. Oh, you can fly! It's like the airships. I thought it was weird somebody from the Imperial Command of a winger. Is it being fixed? Is it broken? It's rather complicated. In any case, I'm sorry to say we'll have to walk. Rats, I really wanted to try riding in one. Oh, but oh well, that's alright. Nothing phases you, does it, Law? Oh, before I forget, allow me to give you this. Life Axiom. Each skill or counter sprinter can be equipped with a momentum sprinter. Once equipped with a momentum sprinter, momentum mode may be activated by that skill or counter. The momentum sprinter have a wide variety of effects suitable for many playstyles. There are a lot of monsters around this area. It's best to be well equipped, well prepared. Okay, let's go equip that first, though. Heal your HP. Okay. And I can only equip them on one person. So far, I still don't know how I feel about the game. The story, graphics, uh, the theme, everything looks good. Um, but the combat. I think the combat's kind of lacking. Like, it's so slow. Even with the active mode, so I don't know how I feel about it. I don't really want to fight that much because it's so slow. Like, I can't stand combat that takes too long, like the animations and all that stuff. It's just not really fun to watch. It's cool the first time, but in a JRPG, you're kind of like playing the same few things a lot of times, so it really does get old very fast. Like, I feel like this game would probably be a bit better if, it ha if there was like a times 2 or times 3 speed mode. At the moment, it just feels very slow. Slow, slow. Why is it not taking damage? I don't understand. Why is it immune to damage? That's kind of cheating. Why is it only taking damage from the bow? Oh, no. Okay. 
Is there any way I can heal? Yep. ゴンと Oh, Earth Memory, nice. Yeah, I don't know. So far, I think the game is decent, but my only gripe is that the combat is way too slow. And so it's getting a little bit tedious and I've only been playing for like an hour. So that is kind of concerning to me. It's just like it's not active enough for me to really enjoy it. And that's really the issue for me with like these kind of RPGs nowadays. Like many years ago when I played these type of RPGs, that's fine. Because I wasn't used to like the quality of life improvements and the trend of transitioning towards a more active combat. Uh, and for by active combat, I mean like like uh, tales of arise and stuff like that. Like Star Ocean and stuff is also really active too, and those are JRPGs as well. The I I, I think Persona is also decent. Like it's fine, uh, but but that, the Persona is also really fast paced compared to this game because you have this um, auto combat mode, which really speeds up the combat. But, but this game is just really slow. Like, really slow. I'm fine with like games like Final Fantasy X too, because you can speed it up yeah. as well. Uh, I don't think you can speed it up on the PlayStation, but on the Steam version, you can actually speed it up. So being able to like turbo mode old games is actually definitely like really helpful. Um, just because like, these combat sequences can be really dry. Like I'm just spamming the X button, but these guys are all invincible for some reason. And I can't even damage them, but I have to keep on waiting for them too. Yeah, like all of them are completely invincible. I don't even know what I'm supposed to do. Like, what am I supposed to do against every enemy that's like all invincible? I don't understand. Like, why do you have a game? Like, how, why do you have like so many enemies that are completely invincible? I don't understand this part. Why would you design invincible en uh, like enemies this early into the game? Like, I can't even damage any of them, and I'm playing on normal. Like, what am I supposed to do here? ね。
Wow, help. Look, there's no point in eating me. I'm so covered in dirt. I'll only give you a stomachache. You better leave me off the menu. Trust me. Look, over there. Oh no, we've got to do something. Oh, this is not good. Oh, I actually healed to full. Okay, that's fine then. よし、俺もかっこよく決めるぜ。こうきた。仕留める。続いてガンガン行くわよ。I don't understand why like this game has like these stupid invincible mobs so early in the game. It's just so annoying. Essentially it just kinda of makes me not want to play this game at all because of like, when you're doing this this early in the game, how bad is the late game mobs gonna be? Like, is it worth me? Putting in the time to play this game if you're already trying to waste my time with invincible mobs this like one hour into the game. Like, this isn't entirely like time consuming, this it's not even hard to fight. And it's boosting the defense up so much that I can't even damage them. It's all doing zero damage just outside of the two ranged characters. Yeah, I don't know. Phew, I thought I was done for. Luck's on my side today. Thank you so much, guys. You guys really saved me. Oh, don't mention it. But if you don't mind me asking, what are you doing here? My name's Deke. I'm a miner, see? A miner? You mean you're here to mine this gorge? What are you looking for anyway? Silver? Gold? Jewels, maybe? Something more precious than any of those in in a way. I'm looking for Terramite. Have you heard of it? Terramite? Yeah, I think I've heard of it. It's a really valuable ore, isn't it? That's right. Its composition is still being researched, but it fetches a good price with the military tech's division. So you're digging around hoping you're going to find a pile of the stuff, huh? Well, this gorge isn't a good source, so I don't have any hope of making a big fortune here. But there's a real there's a mountain named Rahet that's a real Terramite gold mine. You have to fight off tons of monsters and members of a vicious clan too, though. So that's why you're jigging around for scraps here, huh? Because you're afraid of monsters, but scaredy cat. I prefer the term cautious. But I'm sure you realize by now that this place is just as dangerous. Wouldn't it be better to pack up and go home? Oh, believe me, I have the desire to go home in spades, mind you. In spades, get it? Ho ho ho. But the truth is I can't go back to the capital. There's a huge monster blocking the path, uh, blocking the way. Besides, I have to find my tool bag and disappeared, you know. Disappeared, you say? Yeah, it was my prized possession, too. I kept all my mining tools in it. Believe it or not, I tur it turned white and vanished right before my eyes. Oh, I'm cursed, I tell you. Hmm, that sounds like it got lost, doesn't it? Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Well, of course it got lost. It doesn't take a genius to figure that out. Right, then, uh, we'll take care of that monster for you. As a member of the Imperial Command, I can't just leave it running loose after all. Phew, thank you ever so much. I'm the luckiest man alive. One minute you're cursed, and the next the luckiest man alive. Make up your mind. In any case, I think we'd better proceed with caution. New Artifact Knowledge Gained. Tack lab. Uh, that's probably the big monster, right? Everyone, can I have a minute? It was said before there were other monsters up ahead. I think you should save. Yeah, check your condition at that save point. You can use this medical kit. Medical kits provide powerful recovery effects, but can only be used on the world map or at save points. And there is also an item called the medical case, the enhanced version of the medical kit. Thank you.
that have the largest teeth and biggest body ever. It might still be rolling nearby, so keep your eyes peeled. Okay, um, yeah. So I think I'll be ending it here. Uh, seems like a good place to stop. Um, initial thoughts. Story's great. Music's good. Uh, soundtrack's good. Combat, horrible. And I think this is kind of like the issue with Tokyo RPG games. It's just that their the combat so far has always been the weakest point. And I just don't understand why. Like, I, I've been playing uh, Oninaki as well. And combat is definitely the weakest point. The combat is like slow like molasses and i just don't understand why they have like the makings of a good game and then they just have like the absolute horrible combat that's designed to be extremely slow and i don't know i don't understand why they did it that way like just speed up the animations by like 50 percent, and your game would be fast paced and nice uh, good fun but instead you have this extremely slow combat and it's just yeah, uh, so I don't know if I'll be playing more of this. Um, so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in whatever comes next.